When I looked at Edinburgh, Edinburgh invited me up to meet with the people in the um, recruiting department, uh, student, student um, advancement, I can't recall what it's called. The admissions. Admissions. And when I did, they kind of questioned me about, are you sure you are prepared to come to college here? Can you keep up with the work? Uh, kind of odd questions, I thought. But So I was accepted at Edinburgh. I was thrilled, and I very much enjoyed my time here. Um, in my senior year was just when the Freedom of Information Act was passed, and you were able to go to see your records for the first time. There weren't any rules about how this worked yet. You just went to the dean of students' office and said, I'd like to see my file. They brought it out. And he went away and he hoped you wouldn't have any questions. So after about 20 minutes, he came in and he said, well, how, how is it? And I said, look at this. It was a letter from my high school guidance counselor that said I was not recommended for going to college anywhere because I wasn't intelligent enough to complete it. So I was stunned. The dean was horrified. And then I started hitting him with Dean's List, Dean's List, Dean's List, English Honors Program. <clears throat> so Edinburgh wrote a letter to my high school. Um, that moment was really something that cemented my dedication to my school. Edinburgh took a chance on me when no one else would and when they were told not to. So when you think that your life could have been over at 17 because somebody said no, it really made me respect uh, the opportunity I was given and I think to want to give back as well. So yes, I've been here quite often and I do enjoy coming back. The communications department claims me, the English department claims me, and ROTC claims me. So I belong to everybody here.